In this video I'm going to show you the installation process of the Polaris Atlas and the Atlas XT. And in the box are 12 1 meter hoses. Also you have the cleaner and you have all the parts to connect it to the skimmer or side port of your pool. And note if you order the standard model of the Atlas it comes with standard universal hoses. And installation is really easy. The key is to get the right section to the cleaner. So if you follow these instructions on top it will be really easy to install. I'm going to show you in this video how to set the wheel revolutions per minute and set the suction correctly for the cleaner. So here are the parts for the skimmer installation. You have your flow keeper valve. You have an arrow pointing down. This arrow needs to point towards the skimmer hole. And you have this cone. And you also have this elbow to connect the hoses. So it should look like this in the skimmer. You can also fine tune the flow keeper valve. You see these positions on the back here. Just pull this tab here. You can move this up and down. And they're marked here on the side, one, two, three, four, and five. For the side port, I recommend getting a vac lock, which is sold separately. And you also have this elbow included with the Atlas. So the elbow goes into the side port, into the vac lock like this. And one reason why you want to get a vac lock, if this were to pop off, it'll shut and prevent any kind of entrapment. So there's a special lead hose in the box. It has the float on front, and it also has the adapter to connect it to the Atlas XT. So you're going to go ahead and snap this on the head of the cleaner. You can hear it snap in. So now we're going to connect enough hose sections to stretch the atlas across the pool with one hose section sticking out of the pool. And I'll show you that right now. And you want to do this to all the hose sections you're going to use. And if you have the standard version of the atlas with the universal friction hoses, you want to go ahead and just slide them together like this. And then twist them together until you have them really tight. So the side port connection is right here and I have it stretched across the pool and you can see that the atlas is laying out there on the deck with one hose length. And here's a look at the atlas from the other side. You have the one hose sticking out of the pool and it's stretched across to the side port. And if I were connecting it here at the skimmer, here's how I set it up. I have the hose here at the skimmer, then I have the hose stretched across the pool. You can see the atlas over there with one hose length sticking out of the pool. And now that you have the right hose length, we're going to go ahead and submerge the atlas in the pool. Then we're going to connect it to either the skimmer or the side port. And I like to feed the hose in hand over hand. That way you get all the air out of the line. If you did this correctly, the last hose should have the air coming out with water. And for the side port installation, you're going to take the elbow and twist it onto the hose. And the vac lock simply threads into the side port. Okay, now you want to open up the side port and slide the elbow in. And make sure that it's in there firmly and it's not going to pop out. And I highly recommend you install the cleaner with a canister. This is a Zodiac Cyclonic canister. And you want to install the canister at the first hose coming out of the side port or the skimmer of your pool. So I'm going to go ahead and unlock the hoses here and install the canister. Also note on top that this canister is marked pump and cleaner. This is the direction you want to install it. So now you want to adjust the elbow on the side or in the skimmer so that the canister sits horizontal in the pool like this. So for the skimmer installation you want to take the lid off the skimmer and remove the basket. Now you're going to take the hose and slide it to the front of the skimmer. Remember that the flow keeper valve is marked here with the flow pointing down towards the skimmer. You want to make sure the cone is on this end. You're going to push the cone firmly into the skimmer suction line. Now we're going to attach the hose to the elbow. So that's the skimmer installation. It's very easy. And since you're going to have to remove the skimmer basket to install the cleaner, you can see all the leaf debris here in the skimmer basket. One great aftermarket product is a whole one basket. And the whole one basket is designed to keep the leaf debris from going into the pump with the cleaner installed at the skimmer. You can learn more about the whole one basket on my website. Once you have everything set up, the last step is to make sure you have the right suction going to the cleaner. I'm going to show you that right now. Let me go ahead and turn on the pump. And if you have a side port, you should see a Jandy valve here coming off the suction line. So this valve here controls the suction to the side port. I'm going to open it up about 3 fourths. You don't want to open it fully because then you'll turn off all the suction to the skimmer. We want to open it up partially so that it'll have some suction to the side port and you also have suction at the skimmer. So you want to go ahead and loosen the knob here on top.
So I'm going to start it with the side port open at this position. You also want to start with a clean filter. So go ahead and take your filter apart and clean it or backwash your filter. And with the variable speed pump, there's one more step necessary to set up the cleaner. And you have to adjust the RPMs or the speed of the pump. So you have to raise the RPMs or the percentage of the speed in order to get the proper suction with the side port valve at a certain position. I find that the easiest way to do this is to pull some of the hose onto the deck while I'm holding the cleaner. That way I can keep it in one position. And here's a look at the arrow on the wheel or the teardrop marking. And I'll use the edge of the shield here as my indicator and then I'm gonna time it as it goes around. You also wanna make sure that it finishes its turn cycle and then you can time it as the wheel is moving. So the optimal speed of this cleaner is having 10 revolutions in 20 to 25 seconds. And you can achieve this by measuring it by pulling the cleaner to the side of the pool carefully, not to let the cleaner come out of the water. Again, that teardrop, and also I use the side of the shield as my line. And I'll time it to see how many times it goes around. And you want 10 rotations of that dot in 20 to 25 seconds. So you may have to adjust the speed of the pump, like here, I'm raising the RPMs to a higher percentage. Or you may want to adjust the side port. You don't want to adjust it too far, otherwise it's gonna start cavitating or causing air to form in the pump. So it's better to adjust the speed of the pump up rather than adjust the side port to increase the wheel revolutions of the cleaner. And of course, if you need to decrease it, you would just lower down the speed of the pump or you can open up the side port and let more suction go to the skimmer at that point. If you have it connected to the skimmer and you need to make some fine adjustments, you can use the flow keeper valve and just move this part on the back forward or backwards to adjust the suction. That's the installation of the Polaris Atlas XT. And you can see that it's a really easy process. Leslie's Pool Supplies has been do-it-yourselfers and pool trade professionals trusted partner since 1963, providing quality products and services to make pool care easy and solutions and expertise to do it right.